Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum dear students This is our next problem Problem having been chosen from the same book Modern Physics by Stephen T. Thornton and Andrew Rex Stephen T. Thornton and Andrew Rex As usual we first come to its statement okay? A spaceship moving 0.80 c where c is the speed of light direction away from earth fires a missile that the spaceship measures to be moving at 0.80 c perpendicular to the ship's direction of travel Find the velocity components and speed of the missile as measured by Earth. Okay. Dear yes, students, uh, its solution is quite simple. We once again a spaceship moving 0.80 c 0.80 c implies or means about 80% of the speed of light okay a spaceship moving 0.80 c direction away from earth fires a missile that the spaceship measures to be moving at 0.80 c perpendicular to the ship's direction of travel Find the velocity components and speed of the missile as measured by Earth. Dear students, for this problem, we just need the relevant expression in which we have to put these values and our answer will appear. Okay. Before going to its solution in a proper manner we first visit this a snapshot in which that concerned or relevant expression is given in which we will have to put the concerned values and our answer will become okay this dear students this snapshot has been included in this problem in duplicate that is to say and other alternate version of this statement is also available okay formula expression is 100 percent same however these two alternate snapshots have been chosen from two different books okay this first snapshot i hope i am not 100 percent sure i hope that this snapshot has been cho chosen from the book um, Physics for Scientists and Engineers by um, uh, Stephen T. Thornton and um, Jenny Morska. Okay. Actually, the problem which we are going to solve has been taken from the book Modern Physics by Stephen T. Thornton. And uh, Stephen T. Thornton has also written a general physics book in which other author is perhaps Jenny Mochka and this snapshot has been chosen from that book in which chapter number 39 deals with relativity and in this expression in this snapshot ux, uy and uz are given as equations number 39 18 a 39 18 b 39 18 c okay ux is equal to u dash x plus v over 1 plus v into u dash x over c square okay similarly uh, uy is equal to u dash y over Lorentz factor gamma into 1 plus v into u dash dash x over c square Similarly, uz is equal to u dash z over Lorentz factor gamma into 1 plus v into u dash x over c square. Okay. 
this expression is under the title relativistic velocity transformation okay now we are going to see its alternate version contained in some other book okay this alternate version says if u and u dash are the velocities of an object measured in systems k and k dash respectively and v is the relative velocity between k and k dash the relativistic addition of velocities Dear students, we are going to alternate version from starting. Okay, if u and u dash are the velocities of an object measured in systems k and k dash respectively, and v is the relative velocity between k and k dash, the relativistic addition of velocities, that is Lorentz velocity transformation, is u x equal to d x over d t this is equal to u dash x plus v over 1 plus v over c square into u dash x similarly u y is equal to u dash y over Lorentz factor gamma into 1 plus v over c square into u dash x similarly u z is equal to u dash z over gamma into 1 plus v over c square into u dash x where Lorentz factor gamma is equal to 1 over 1 minus v square over c square whole under root. These equations are equation number 2.23 and 2.8 that is to say chapter number 2 deals with relativity from the, uh, the book from where we have chosen this snapshot. Okay now we are going to start our solution in a formal manner. First of all, we are going to determine the value of Lorentz factor gamma. Okay, using Lorentz factor gamma equal to 1 over 1 minus v square over c square. This becomes equal to 1 over 1 minus 0.8 c divided by c square. 0.8 square is equal to 0.64 and c square will be cancelled with c square and when 0.64 is subtracted from 1 we will get 0.36 and when under root of 0.36 is taken it becomes 0.6 and when we divide 0.6 by 1 it becomes 1.7 okay so 
our loaded factor has become equal to gamma equal to 1.7 using using dear students we are exactly using the same expression which we have shown twice in two alternate versions of snapshots okay so using ux equal to u dash x plus v over 1 plus v into u dash x over c square equation number one put u dash u dash x equal to 0 and v equal to 0 0.8 c okay in equation number one we get ux equal to 0 0.0.8 c over 1 plus 0 this becomes equal to 0 0.8 c okay so what what is meant by this this it means ux is 0 0.8 c while v is also 0 0.8 c okay so u dash x and v are equal in according to the situation provided in the problem okay now we solve second part that is to say u y okay using u y equal to u dash y over Lorentz factor gamma into 1 plus v into u dash over u dash x over c square equation number 2 okay dear students this part that is u y is being calculated as a uh, reciprocal part of above uh, part okay uh, we are following the same expression same methodology same snapshot same philosophy okay so using u y equal to u dash y over Lorentz factor gamma into 1 plus v into u dash x over c square equation number 2 put u dash y equal to 0 0.8 c and u dash x equal to 0 in equation number 2 we have u y equal to 0 0.8 c over we have found Lorentz factor in the previous part which is gamma equal to 1.7 and uh, this becomes 1.0 okay because in the expression in, in the expression in the expression 1 plus v into u dash x over c square and one of these two factors is 0 and hence it will become 1 plus 0 okay and uh, when we divide 0 0.8 by 1.7 that in it becomes equal to 0 0.47 and c is already with it so u y becomes equal to 0 0.47 c where c is the speed of light okay now u x equal to u x is equal to 0 0.8 c and u y is equal to 0 0.47 c okay both these values have been calculated in previous two parts of this problem these are x and y components of u but now we are going to calculate u okay so u will become equal to u x square plus u y square whole under root okay here third component does not become relevant otherwise it uh, this expression might take the form as u equal to u x square plus u y square plus u z square but according to our requirements and uh, within the philosophy applicable to this problem we are confined only to x and y components okay so u is equal to u x square plus u y square whole under root this becomes equal to 0 0.8 c square plus 0 0.47 c square this becomes equal to 0 0.64 c square plus 0 0.22 c square this becomes equal to 0 0.86 c square and this becomes equal to 0 0.93 c okay because when we take under root of 0 0.86 it will become 0 0.93 and under root of c square will be simply c so our u has become equal to 0 0.93 c which we had to find out or calculate and this is the end of our problem this is the end of our video till next video allah hafiz